Georgia is one of the most dominant and strongest countries in judo. Georgians are champions in judo, wrestling, sambo and so on. The most interesting fact is that Georgians become champions all over the world representing different countries. For example as Georgi Zantaraya, born in Georgia but glorified Ukraine with his achievements. So today I propose that you analyze the phenomenon of Georgian judo and why Georgia in the future can become as dominant as the ancestor of judo Japan. And we will start with history. Of course, many people know that Georgia used to be a part of the Soviet Union. Therefore, the sports history starts from the times of the Soviet Union. The first Olympic judo champion from the Soviet Union was a Georgian. His name was Shota Chochishvili. That is why it has been clear for centuries that Georgia and judo are almost synonyms. The first Olympic champion from such a small republic as Georgia was in the whole union. Then it was immediately clear that these judokas with their special style of fighting, which was not known to anyone and no one could read it, would dominate and hold the world judo arenas in fear, which is still being done to this day. The second historical figure is Shota Kabareli, an Olympic champion during the Soviet Union. He is remembered by the world for his unusual judo style, and his signature throw will be included in the list of throws licensed by the Kadokan Institute in the future. It's the Obitori Geishi throw. Habarelli is such an outstanding personality that the throw is named after him. I believe that this athlete lived a worthy sporting life and brought glory to his people and country. Georgians who compete for other countries. They perform very successfully and even write history and set world records. For example, Niko Sherazadishvili is twice world champion. He brought to world championship golds to Spain for the first time in its history. Or take Yago Abuladze, who plays for Russia, 2021 world champion and one of the strongest judokas in the category up to 60 kilograms and recently moved up a weight category. Henry Agutids, who plays for Portugal, is a bronze medalist at the 2021 World Championships. He has a place on this list of honorable legionnaires. Vadit Elbeirek, European champion, winner of Grand Slam tournaments, participant of the Olympic Games, and one of the leading judokas from his category up to 81 kilograms. Also to this list, we can add Luca Mekaidza, who plays for France and became a bronze medalist of the Olympic Games, Georgi Zantaraya, who is a legend of Ukrainian judo, or Ilias Iliadis, and so on. The weight category is up to 90 kilograms and Georgia is some kind of magic. It is in this category that they have a generation of strong judokas and Olympic champions, Lasha Bukhari, who won the European Championships, the Masters Series Tournament and the Olympic Games in Tokyo. Baka Gvinishvili, who has won numerous Grand Slam tournaments and Grand Prix. He is a clear representative of Chidoba wrestling, which can be seen in his wrestling style and techniques. Luca Majorezzi, who at a young age in the 81 kilograms weight class became a bronze medalist at the 2019 World Championships. And now he has moved to the weight class up to 90 kilograms and shows there is a real class and has already defeated titled famous athletes. Also worth adding here are Zureb Zviadori, Irekli Sirekids, and Jarji Zviadori, who are Olympic champions in the same magic category up to 90 kilograms. And of course, national wrestling, that's the secret weapon of Georgian judokas. Chidoba, powerful severe wrestling on the sand. Not everyone can withstand such loads and inconveniences in wrestling. Who has ever wrestled on the sand, he realizes how difficult it is. Many techniques from Chidoba in the wreck, borrowed from Sembo. Chidoba wrestling technique enriched the technique of the Soviet school of freestyle wrestling. Coach of Olympic champions Ivan Yerijin, Buvaser Sativ and other famous masters of wrestling Dmitry Mindyashvili knew the secrets of Chidoba and passed them to his students, which led to success. Support, spirit and unity, this is what perfectly describes Georgians when they fight on the tatami. The whole country is worried about them, and no matter what you are interested in, what sport or something else, they always know about the successes of their favorite athletes. And this applies not only to judo. Just look at how Olympic champion Lasha Bukhari, 
who became a national hero in 2021, was welcomed at the airport, and it is all rightfully and 100% deserved. It's a great example of unity and brotherhood. Also, Georgia cannot worry about its future. The current Georgian Judo Championship showed that in each category they have at least two or even three people who travel to competitions and take prizes there. Among them we would like to mention the talented Ilya Sulemanids, who has already taken his bronze medal at the World Championship. Of course, one of the main stars and hopes is the vice world champion Tato Grigalashvili, who has not won anyone in his young career. Although he didn't win a medal at the Olympic Games, I see a great future in him. Same old Luka Majoredzi, I think he will take his place at the core of the national team in this category, because the judo he shows deserves attention and progress. And according to the results of the 2021 World Championships and the Olympic Games in Tokyo, Georgia is the best in the medal standings among the countries of the former Soviet Union. Here is the fruit of hard work, unity and secret weapon in the form of Chidoba wrestling. This is why they can become the most dominant country in the world of judo.